Good morning my darlings and welcome to a new vlog. I'm not sure what my hair is doing this morning. I've just washed it and I'm letting it dry au naturel. Uh, today I want to just get a few things done. Like I feel like I've been leaving a few projects kind of half done. Um, so I want to get a few things finished today. And first of all, I want to decide hopefully on a fabric for the freebie armchair so i thought we could have a little look at the fabric samples together um i'll share with you my favorites and i'd love to know which you guys think would work well as well and these are some of the fabric samples which i have have to say i'm actually quite drawn to this one for this armchair um i would probably paint the frame of the chair white as you can see it's got a kind of floral design within the wood i think that could look quite contemporary and really beautiful the plain ones I think are probably not quite right for this chair, probably a little bit um, of a, you know, not terribly exciting option. Stripes, to be honest, I just feel like with stripes I would have to be so careful with how I position the fabric and I'm not sure that that's a good idea for a first attempt at reupholstering. The floral designs I think could look really lovely, especially the more antique ones. Yeah, this one's from Peony and Sage. I think that could look gorgeous, especially with a white frame. That one's really similar. This one is a little bit more antique again. Possibly a little bit too shabby chic. I'm sure it would look gorgeous, but oh, I don't know actually. The thickness of that material is really good compared to this one. That's a little bit more thin. And the fabric that I've been taking off the chair is quite thick, which makes me think it would suit a thicker fabric. And then these two here, again from Peony and Sage, the faded florals. Um, oh, this one's quite nice. Another one from Peony and Sage, that's a little bit thicker. That could probably be a little bit more suitable for the style of the chair, whereas that would make it look a little bit more contemporary. I think that could be the one, actually. Hmm, I will get Charlie's opinion. Yeah, not too sure on the stripe, and I think that fabric is just a little bit too thin, as is this one here. So I think these are my top three. What do you guys think? With the arms, I can imagine the wood painted white. I think that could look absolutely adorable. So today I'm gonna to try and get rid of the fabric here and on the base of the chair, and then we can start the painting. There's a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from... Okay, so a little update. I'm just listening to a few um, DIY reupholstering videos while I do this, picking up a few tips. Uh, you may not have seen this in the last video, but here is a little close up of what we're dealing with. The chair is obviously super old, so it's actually filled with straw, and a lot of um, reupholstered chairs will have the fabric stapled onto the chairs underneath the fabric pins, whereas this, I can only guess, was done before staples were really invented because there's actually kind of like these little metal bolts which I'm having to use a screwdriver, um, a flat tip screwdriver to wedge them out a little bit and then I'm using pliers to bring them out. So it is quite time consuming but this is the longest and most boring step and then it's on to the fun things. Will you carry me like I am? Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait. Honestly, my assistant for this project is just so lazy Dickens, you're meant to be helping but instead you're just distracting Look at this dirty tummy Somebody is in desperate need of a groom, aren't you? So I've just been using an old um, dish brush, <laughs> excuse me, you're kicking me. An old dish brush and 
our vacuum cleaner, oops, to basically suction out all the dust because this chair really is quite disgustingly grubby. Oh, there's another doggy under there. When did you sneak in, Dexy? No, that's mommy's chocolate tissue. So I'm just pulling the fabric out from the sides and then hopefully I'll be able to pull all of the fabric from the bottom up and then we've just got the back to do and I think we are ready to look at some paint. Not long. Not long. Daddy, give me attention. I'm coming back to my mummy because I'm a mummy's boy. <laughs> Put me together, take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. I could take you back to my youth and show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to lean. Time for a quick lunch break, and if you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that we made a paella for um, our kind of Spanish themed dinner. And of course, it's very tricky to make a paella just for two people, so we have quite a lot left over. Um, I'm just going to heat some in a little bit of oil on the agar for a quick and easy leftover lunch the other ring of my wrist is gold pairing with the light it holds when i return from my skin and bone i'm remembering the words you told me wait hold on put me together take me back where i belong i want it all Goodness me, what a mess <laughs> this looks like. So let me show you where we are at with the chair. I have managed to take off all the fabric and all the padding and despite it still looking quite scruffy, I have tried to neaten it off with some scissors, any loose threads, and I've also been vacuuming dust, of which there was a lot, um, and like little bits of the padding. So I think this really is about as far as I can take it now without any more supplies. So of course I've got the bits that I pulled off here. I am going to lie them all out on my dust cloth here um, and try and figure out how much of the fabric I need to order. I'm going to order that. I'm going to order some Annie Sloan paint, I think, because having watched quite a few YouTube videos while I was doing this, it seems that that is a really good option without having to prepare the chair too much. So I can just paint it straight on without having to do any sanding. And then I also need to order some trim and some of the little pins which will go around the edges. I also need to order some more padding. And then there was, where is it? Here we go. There was some really thin padding on the top and the seat of the chair as well. So I'm gonna have a look for some alternatives to this online. Hopefully Amazon or John Lewis will have some supplies like this and then we can get the chair finished off next week. I think to be on the safe side I'm going to need about two meters of fabric and I've just been back on the Peony and Sage website to order this one. It is the Millie in Antique Nude Cream Linen. Fabric is a lot more expensive than I thought it was. This is £62 a meter so it's not going to be a majorly cheap um, restoration job but hopefully the paint won't be too much money and it's definitely cheaper than getting it done professionally. So it could be a couple of weeks until I have another update for you. Obviously I've got to wait for everything to arrive and it did say with the fabric it could be 10 to 14 days because it's printed on request so stay tuned darlings for armchair restoration update coming your way very soon 
So I've come inside because I have to post my Ted Baker Day in the Countryside IGTV. You may remember I was shooting this um, in a video last week. So I am just getting this all ready to go. Got to choose a thumbnail for the IGTV. We took some really beautiful photos on this day. So I think I'm going to go for... Hmm... I seriously too many good ones to choose, but I do particularly like these ones. I think I'm going to go for that one. Title is... So while I'm waiting for this to upload, I just went on the And Other Stories website and they have got the most spectacular selection of things in at the moment. Um, not sure how well you'll be able to... Oh, gosh. A delivery on a Sunday, that's quite random. So one of the things that I particularly loved on And Other Stories was this sun visor. You might have seen that I wear my H&M one so much. I have actually popped it in the bottom of my bag a few times and then put stuff on top of it and it has got a little bit crushed. So for the sake of £17, I am going to treat myself to a nice new one. I like to always add clothes that I'm looking at on new tabs. I just think it's much quicker um, than going to the product page and then back to the new in page and I nearly, oh my goodness, that has sold so quickly. I'm pretty sure these were new in like today or yesterday. Damn it, so they haven't got that in my size. Um, this lovely midi skirt. I actually have a dress in this material from an end of the stories order that I did last, last week. I might actually do a little try on haul for you. I haven't done anything like that in a little while. Um, so let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Not 100% sure about this one. Um, I have got a few, I don't know, hmm. Well, I might order it and then I can always return it if it's not absolutely perfect. What next? Oh, I think these look absolutely gorgeous. I normally size up on bikini bottoms because I don't like them to be too tight. And then the matching top. I also clicked on this one, but having looked at a few more um, bikinis, they've got this really lovely seersucker material, and then they've also got it in pink. I think I'm going to order both and then see which one I prefer, because I love seersucker, and I think this is a really, really lovely material. Again, I'm going to size up than my usual size in the bottoms. I'm also going to add the pink to my order. It's annoying they don't have a picture of this on the model because I can't quite picture how this would look. I think it could be absolutely beautiful, so I am going to add this to my basket. I guess because of the new guidelines, they're probably not able to shoot models in all of their new pieces. I think that's everything. Okay, my order has been placed and my Ted Baker IGTV has just gone live. It is performing well um, and I'm just checking on this evening's video. It's currently 11 minutes past four and it's saying we've got 57 minutes until this video goes live. So it's going to be a little bit late, but never mind. I am now going to head down to the garden and pick some mint to make myself a nice mint tea. And then the sun has come out and it's getting nice and toasty. Charlie is still being a busy bee. He's been very productive today. And what about you, my little boy? Are you seeking some shade? You look very kissable up there. Mom, get off me. I love you. Why do you growl at me when I kiss you? One cannot sit outside and enjoy everyone's tea and lemon drizzle cake without a certain 
bully coming along and instructing his mother that he would like to sample some. Put those teeth and that tail away, young man. I sit here patiently because I know that if mummy wants to give us some, she'll give us some. But I'm a little more vocal about my desire for lemon drizzle cake. I don't think puppies are allowed lemon drizzle. I'm sorry, Dexy. Not on this occasion. I don't give in to bullies. raving about this Colton Willow brand but this is um, my first time refilling one of our products and this is a refill bottle of the geranium leaf all-purpose cleaner we use it mostly in the kitchen but you can use it pretty much anywhere it's really good also for just sloshing swiping over the agar cleaning things like the kettles the coffee machines super super useful and you're reducing a lot of waste by getting these refillable bottles and just topping up your glass um, spritzers but honestly it is the best smelling cleaner I think I have ever ever come across so I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of a mini manicure seeing as I have been a little bit tough on my hands today doing the reupholstery um, I'm not gonna do any nail varnish actual color because I don't think there's any point with so much gardening and things like that going on but still important to care for your nails so I'm just gonna do some filing and shaping um, and then put on some nail and cuticle oil and this is the nail envy nail strengthener and this is really good just to stop any snapping um, and breaking seeing as I am being a little bit more hands-on lately and then as soon as I feel like I'm not going to be doing quite as much gardening and things like that I will give myself a gel mani but this is what I'm going to use for today and while I'm doing that I'm going to catch up on the comments on my latest video because my we need to talk um, video has just gone live so I feel like people might have quite a lot to say in the comments section Just setting up to have a little barbecue with our leftovers from yesterday and I'm finishing off my manicure in the most bougie way possible. <laughs> 